Welcome to the show. So here we are. It's another Monday and we have 30 minutes for me to answer your questions and help connect you to loved ones on the other side. If you are watching or listening on YouTube, you can call in to be part of the show. The number is 845-277-9131. couple of announcements before I get started this morning. The first one is, if I call your area code, please say your name and where you're calling from. Also, have a question or a connection ready. To be fair to everybody else, wait on my call log um, and so that I can get to as many people as possible. That is why I do this. Um, have a question or a connection ready. When I say a connection, I don't mean tell me who's on the other side or give me a random message from spirit. I mean, hi, I'd like to connect with um, Edwin, my grandpa. Okay. It's that simple. For the sake of the show and for the sake of, of keeping everything timely, that's how I work. I, you know, and honestly, I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you right here right now. In my office or when I'm doing a session on the phone, I don't like do the question, who's around me? Do you want to know why I don't do that? Other people, they can do that if they want. That's awesome. I love that they have that ability. But I start to see hundreds and hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. not, not live people, no. And of those hundreds and hundreds of people that I'm going to see, it's like that statement, the squeakiest wheel gets the grease or link or chain. Whatever squeaking gets the grease, okay? Oil, the oil. I know if I'm going to use a metaphor, I should use it correctly. Um, but what what happens is people will pop in, and maybe you know these people, but a lot of times you don't. No, you don't. You don't. I'll start describing them. I'll give you their the name, and you're like, you have no idea. They could be a great, great, great uncle that you've never heard of before. So, for the sake of the show. For the sake of, you know, where we are, what we're doing here, a name and a relationship to you, just a first name. Believe me, I have so much going on on my switchboard. I am not looking you up on YouTube. I'm not looking you up on any other social media platform. I'm just trying to watch the screens in front of me right here. Boom, 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 boom all these screens and manage them without accidentally disconnecting things because I've done that. It's it's probably not funny to the people I've disconnected, but you know, life goes on. Okay. So I am the author of seven books, which are available on Amazon. Um, uh, this show airs on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV. And, and just about every podcast out there. So I'm going to go to the first caller now. And the first caller, if you have me on speakerphone, please take me off of speakerphone while I take your call. 210, how are you doing today, 210? Hello, this is Paul from Texas. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. I, the last time I had the good fortune to talk to you was over a year ago, and you told me that somebody that was relative would be contacting me. I hadn't heard her from a long time, like a brother, and that it looked like a really great hamburger coming in, but when you when you got into it, it was a cheeseburger and gooey mess, and you had to skip the whole thing. <laughs> and so this person, it was a couple months later, this person contacted me uh, on an old business line I used to have, and this is the person that found it always, no matter what, he was so good to see him, so wonderful, but he always gets into trouble. Oh so, my goodness. So I, 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 I wanted to tell you something. Because everything he always did turned into a big mess. High school on, it was like a big mess. Oh my goodness! Thank you for that 
Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so <laughs> happy. Well, at least you at least you know they kind of forewarned you a little bit about that, right? <laughs> Yeah, because I actually would have, if I hadn't figured out the, you know, the mystery of it, I probably would have called it back, and it, 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 it just never ended well with this person who's always in trouble. So, but I wanted to connect with a, a family member, okay. my mother, if possible. What's her first name, love? Sue. What's your mother's first name? Sue, oh, Sue, Sue, I'm sorry. I thought you said who. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, Sue. Okay. I see two women coming in. You see, even when I tell them one, they send me two. That's okay. One of them is um, seeming, seemingly more petite than the other one. And I feel like this could be a grandmother. Um, and she's more petite, a little thinner. Um, she was a little bit more frail toward the end of her journey here. And I, for those of you watching, I point off to the left because loved ones come in on the left for me or they come in on the right for me. Once in a while, they're in front of me, but the direction I'm pointing, if you're watching me, that's where they are. The second woman is a little bit bigger, a little bit more verbose, a little bit more solid. She had a lot more... Um, I want to use the I don't want to use the word strength. They're using the word strength uh, in her life. She was more a lot more solid, and I don't mean size wise. I mean um, she was just she wasn't so frail. She wasn't so frail. Now I do have the feeling. Now these two women are here, and I'm just gonna go with this because they're giving it to me. Now I hear some, see some, sense some loved ones from the other side. Now, did and and sometimes I'll hear something from somebody else, and that's them just letting you know they're also here. And I'm pointing behind me if you're not watching, which means a third person is here. I'm not seeing that is behind me, and I'm hearing the word cancer, cancer, cancer. Now, nine people out of ten are going to say everybody knows somebody who died from cancer but i don't i don't have a family member that has died from cancer but if i hear it i say it now either i don't know if one of these two women your mother and or if this is your grandmother passed due to cancer but somebody who is here is saying cancer, cancer, cancer. I don't think it was their astrological sign. I'm just going to be <laughs> honest about that. I don't. I don't yeah, think yeah, somebody's right. going to come through and say, "Hey, I'm yeah, the right. cancer of the family." Um, so, does all of this the sound wrong, familiar stronger, so far? The stronger, the stronger one died of cancer. Okay, That's my mother. Okay, and the I think the, the, the one. Yes. Th thank you so much for confirming that. And I figured, okay. I figured the stronger woman was your mother and the more um, the woman who's appearing a little bit more like elderly or frail, um, petite even, um, was a grandmother. And she is so like now she's now that I've described her and this happens sometimes now that I've described her, she's going back to a point when she was healthier in life. So. We have the confirmation of the cancer, so we know this is your mom. So I want to tell you, she is saying, um, okay, uh, I, for whatever this means to you, I want to put my own spin on these things sometimes, and then that just messes up. She's singing this song about bluebirds. I don't, it's not, I don't know the song, and uh, I just hear like the statement, like a bluebird, but it's a song. So what I want to say to you, there is a confirmation from her and or your grandmother, and they're always together now, always together, always together, um, of Bluebird. Whether this is a painting of, of a little figurine, or uh, I think they call them like knickknacks, figurine type of Bluebird, or a literal bluebird that you see out. And I think finches can be blue. And I don't know why I feel the need to define that. Anyway, um, they want you to know that wherever you see bluebirds, 
they are also. Um, so for those of you on YouTube, my <laughs> my phone has been dying, um, and I I sh it should not be dying. And I just lost that caller. Um, who? Please, please. I hope um, the people on. Oh, yeah, it's I I am hearing I have no service, so I may have to finish this just on um, just on YouTube today, which will make me very, very, very sad. Um, so here's what I'm going to say to everybody. I want to apologize for the um, for the loss of the call. I will probably, to be perfectly honest, lose it again because my carrier who is going to remain nameless uh keeps um i keep dropping calls i don't feel like it is my phone but it could be my phone um not really sure so i'm really sorry sue that i dropped you Anyway, what I'm saying is Bluebirds, their confirmation for you is Bluebirds. If it if my phone drops again, I'm just going to finish on YouTube. So everybody pop over to YouTube and pop your questions in the chat center. And I'll get to those questions as, as I can. Okay, so um, their confirmation for you is Bluebirds. And they are letting you know they're always with you. And they want to tell you that... Um, the other, you know what, anything blue, any, anything blue is a confirmation from one of them, whatever that means for, um, for you and for the situation. So I hope that makes sense to you. I really do. And I'm really sorry that that call got disconnected. I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 415 and hopefully we'll keep the connection. Hey, 415. Hi, Sonia. This is Anne. Hi, Anne. How can I help you today? I have a very um, specific question for my mom. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for her ring, and I believe it's in one of the tubs. I have, I just have three tubs I take out of storage. Uh -huh. Is it in one of these tubs? What is it? What is it in? You know what I mean? Is it in a box? Is it in a... Okay. Um, within the tub, what is it in? Is it there? What was your mom's first name, please? Uh, M, Margaret. Margaret. Okay. So I, I need to ask you, did you pack... Are you saying totes, tubs, totes, like those plastic containers, big plastic containers? Yeah. Okay. I have three of them. The Thank green. you. Did you pack them yourself? Yes. Okay. Did you pack one? The uh, is one of them. I know. I'm. I, I is one of them from the bedroom. One of these totes from the bedroom. All of the bedroom stuff. Okay. Um. What I'm going to tell you. One of them has a bunch of other jewelry in it. Old. One of one of them has my old like mountain. Really? Where I feel this is, this this particular, what they're showing me is a dresser, and they're showing me like the top of a dresser, and it is where you put that stuff. It's It was either in, the, oh. in a top drawer or from the top of a dresser. It wasn't just like like sitting out it wasn't just sitting out it was in something but it was in something inconspicuous and it's where you put right. that stuff that's where what i'm hearing and that's what i'm seeing so please by i don't guarantee like being able to find things oh, um, yeah. but let me do please do let me know um, if you find it with that stuff, because I, I will be very happy for you. Um, you're going to find it and you're Did going you say to say anything else. 
she you're yeah she's saying you're going to find it you're going to find it within the month's time and you're going to uh mm. but it's it's i need to stress inconspicuous so how you mm -hmm. and this happens all the time like we're looking for something and we think it looks one way or in we're looking for it like just like the ring itself or in a specific type of yeah. box it might have been something that's like in, in one of those drawstring little bags i'm not saying it is but it's very it, very yeah. inconspicuous so just really look for something like look through everything because it's in obvious it's not obvious yeah. <laughs> i love that verbiage <laughs> I love, I love that for a bit. Putting things away. <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> and you know what? She wouldn't have been like, "Oh, somebody's gonna break in and take my ring." She would have wanted to put it someplace safe, but and not yeah. just have it hanging out. But I do feel like it. It is in that with that stuff that was either on top of her dresser, and I feel if I'm being more exact, on the right side top of her dresser, or in that top drawer of her dresser. Um, I don't think she was trying to hide it. I just think she wanted to put it someplace where she wouldn't forget it would be safe and she wouldn't fling it easily and lose it. I hope this is helpful for you and please, by all means, call me back and let me know uh, when you find it. And I do feel like, again, you are going to find this within a month's time and it is going to be um, when you find it, you're, this is what she is saying to you. When you find it, you're going to think, oh my gosh, I've looked at this spot or box or whatever a million times, or I've gone through this a okay. hundred times and I looked yeah. right past it because you're looking for it to look one way, but it looks another way. Okay, love? <laughs> Thank you so Great. much for calling uh, in. I oh, hope you have it. Help me. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And please let me know when you find it and where it was, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is um, caller 519. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm okay, Tony. How are you doing? I'm doing absolutely amazing. Thank you for asking. Uh, where are you calling from? What's your name? Canada. My name is Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Canada. Uh, how can I help you today? <laughs> um, the government's done some more uh, changes regarding COVID in my country. And I, it, to me, it's the final straw. Um, I'm looking for guidance whether or not if I protest, they'll be heard or if it's just a waste of my time. Okay. Um, as you know, I have very, <laughs> I have personal views and knowings about this. Um, I think you need to join a group or two that is already established because uh, it's the numbers are going to count. Okay, so for anybody listening, any place that is feeling like um, this is a little bit over the top, and I have to be very careful of my verbiage during the show. I can say certain things as long as I don't use certain words or be blatant okay. about my statements. Otherwise, you know, YouTube will shut down your channel. They're, they will take your channel away if your views do not agree, agree with their views. And so what I would say is um, there is a, there are certain groups that are already established that are far ahead of where you can start. Get with those groups and one of them um, is a like uh, they have a coalition that is working with other countries. Um, one of the things the media is doing an amazing job at is hiding what's really going on in other countries, what's really going on, let's just say, in Italy and France, where 
hundreds of thousands of people are on the street protesting certain things every week. Um, and the media is not letting this get out. They want everybody to believe that everybody's so on board. Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> Let me just say this. If so many people have been shot or given the shot, they wouldn't need to push the shot. They want us to believe everybody's so on board. Everybody's so afraid. Everybody is thinking a certain way. Mm, maybe not. Because if everybody felt that way and everybody believed that, there wouldn't be 24-7 propaganda commercials and pushing of it. Literally, when's right. the last time a pharmaceutical company gave away? If, if, if it's so important, why are they not giving away chemo? Why are they not giving away diabetic drugs? If it's really about saving lives and the pharmaceutical companies are so compassionate and they want to save people, why are they not giving away those things? Think, people, think. Please start using your critical thinking skills before we are all part of a communist world. I mean, I'm sorry I wasn't going to okay. go there, but here we are. We are there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and people don't realize like what's going on in Australia is a test country. Does anybody know what's going on in Australia right now? Yeah, because oh, the they're, news. They're they, they're on the beach. Oh, yeah. they are literally they're dragging. I'm going to say research what's going on in Australia, but don't use typical mainstream uh, search engines, go to Bishut, um, and look it up. They, what they're doing in Israel and Australia is a test run for what they want to do to the rest of us. So really research folks, re please research what's really going on in these countries. If people were all in agreement with this, we wouldn't have millions out there protesting in other countries, collectively millions protesting. Um, okay, so having said that, join groups that are already organized and they are far ahead of where you could be on your own. So join these groups and anybody who feels the same way, if, if you are all for what's going on, bless you. That's, that's your your thing um but if you have done research outside of mainstream media and um have a different opinion uh there are groups forming in many many different countries and countries collectively that can help and i i will say this again i said this before i'm saying it again civil suits are starting so in my country they are saying that each area or state or city can tell people if they don't get the shot, they're getting fired. This is this is not legal. That's what they're doing up here, too. This is not legal. This is it goes against the Nuremberg trials. It goes against the, the Constitution of the U.S. You cannot demand what what if you have allergies to what's in this Thing. You you cannot legally do this. And the more it, it just whether you want to get this or not is beside the point at this point. It, you oh, ay yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna go with this. My body, my choice. <laughs> what happened to that? <laughs> um, <laughs> Apparently, that doesn't apply to this. Um, okay, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Here's what I'm going to say. And what I have been channeling for people is get fired and then bring a wrongful termination suit, a civil suit of wrongful termination based on the Nuremberg trials based on the constitution do not be 
bullied in any area of your life for anything. Okay. Um, don't allow people to tell you that you have to do something to your body that you're not comfortable doing uh, or not happy doing or you wouldn't do if you didn't have to do it. Okay. I've seen this past weekend, I was out biking and one of the guys at the bike shop got the shot and his whole legs and feet are filled with bruises. So there are negative effects. Maybe not, maybe everybody doesn't have this negative effect, but what the heck made that happen? What's in this that made that happen? That's what I want to know. Um, so what, okay, let me try to focus here. Let me try to focus a bit. Um, depending upon what country you're in, and I know I have listeners and watchers from all over the world. So depending upon what country you're in, you have to join groups. And I'm hearing the word coalitions that can help you uh, reach the goal you want with this. The other thing I'm going to say is that you can contact um, civil rights attorneys prior to um, being fired and find out what sort of um, action you can take to protect yourself from being forced into something you're not in agreement with. I hope that makes sense to you, love. <clears throat> yeah, it does. You know, it resonates. Okay, so, good. Good, good, good. Um, I, I've said since day one of this, since the very first day, there's something bigger going on here. There's something much bigger going on here that people are, and I get goosebumps through the top of my head as I go to say this. Um, I want people to start researching Davos. Um, don't ask me how to spell that, but it's, I believe it's in, uh, it's where they, the, the very wealthy and the very elite meet once a year and talk about what they're going to do to the rest of the world. If you don't believe me, just research it. And again, use like DuckDuckGo or something along those lines. Research Davis. Research what their plan is for the rest of us. What their goals and intentions are for the rest of us. You don't, you don't have to believe me. I'm just some blonde spewing out what the angels want me to say. Research it for yourself, but not through the mainstream media of your area, because trust me, they are owned by the people running the meetings in Davis. That's that's where I'm going to say. And on that note, I am at my mark and I want to thank everybody for joining me today. Um, I'm here every Monday at noon. So if you did not get through today, please call back next Monday and I will be so happy to take your call and answer your questions. Thank you to everybody on YouTube and Blog Talk for joining me. Um, have an amazing rest of the week.